Well, we have a little cold front coming. And this is what Teresa did today. Covered everything. The cold front's here already. And it's not supposed to get but maybe 39 or 38. But we don't want to take no chances of frost getting on any of the plants. So, Frogfoot Hollow, we didn't have any ice cream jugs, but we used what jugs we could. She got the tomato plants covered, the pepper plants, and look, it's already acting like a greenhouse. All sweating. And she's securing this over here. Say hello to the peoples. Hey, how are y'all? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. I think so. Uh, with it only getting to 39, you know, we still kind of protecting it from getting any ice or frost on the... Are they video? Are you doing yeah. yourself? We'll make a little two or three minute video. Some of y'all up north have it a lot worse than we do. Some of y'all are going to get snow and ice and everything else, and we're just going to get down to... 38 or 39 degrees but we put a lot of work into this and we don't want nothing to happen so just as a precautionary deal oh really so that's going to be exciting all along these edges here she planted some green beans and she said she thinks she saw one coming up today. Let's see if I can spot it. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Maybe. It's on the other side. By the pole. She said over here. Which end, babe? Okay. Let me see. I don't, oh, it is. I see it. Our first green bean. Y'all see it? All right. We did this in the rain today, so it's kind of not the best. But yeah. We only got a, about maybe 10 minutes worth of rain. Uh, so you can see it's. Right here, water always stands, so it's still kind of dry. But I think it'll be fine. I think we'll be doing just fine. I mean, it got down colder than that. I put some lights under there, but I think we'll be fine. Got the flowers under the carport. Got the plants under the carport covered up. And we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, we could have. The chicken water jugs. That's about like the size of an ice cream container. But anyway, I'm sure that uh, we're not the only ones covering up tonight. I know Reagan and Kelly are getting some of their stuff covered up over at uh, Southern Boy Prepper. And I'm sure Nothing Edited is getting some of her stuff covered up. And it is windy. It's, wind is really kicking up, but y'all have a blessed evening, and we will see y'all Saturday. She's gonna plant some more onions. You hear? The onion? That's not an onion, is it? Oh, it died. This one's starting to come up. Yeah, just I only had two. <coughs> this yeah, one's coming up. Yeah, just those two. That's it. You know, the rest of them didn't come up. All right, I'll do it different next time. Well, it's working a little bit. Look, we have. Uh, <coughs> we already got limes, oranges. Yeah. Let's see here. It's oh, look at that! Ready to feed them when we feed them. 
little baby ones. Mm -hmm. Here's some here too. Yep, this is the. <laughs> However, you say that. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The grapefruits have little buds. Every one of these citrus trees have. We just had to tie this one up. Yeah, because this one was really tall. I don't like how they grafted it. They grafted it there and it made it really tall. <laughs> But that's fine. It'll grow into itself. And you smell the flowers coming, the aroma coming from it? Yeah, oh my gosh, smell those. Oh, wow. That almost smells as good as your other plant over there. Improved Meyer lemon. I was, I wanted to get a touch of grapefruit, but you didn't. Little buds on it what here. kind is this one it just says grapefruit red a red grapefruit i love Those are... the texas ones though. They're good. is that what we had last time no, we had a texas one. and this one here is chandler red pomelio pomelo grapefruit oh we'll see we got two of everything so that they can pollinate off each other. It says that you should have different varieties to pollinate off each other. Well, we do have that. This one is a improved Meyer. They're two the same. Uh oh. Y'all want me to call the chickens for y'all? No, let's see what this one is. What is this one? Persian lime. Persian lime? Got a key lime, though. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Y'all come to say hello? <laughs> Y'all gonna say hello, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all take it easy. See y'all Saturday. We have a special treat for y'all Saturday, don't we, Teresa? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only one line. Uh oh. Somebody messed up. Up. <laughs> Me? Looks like we've got three lemons. I mean, three oranges, maybe. Three oranges? Well. Okay, hold on. This is lemon, lemon, orange, orange, lime. Oh, man. Well, when life gives you lemons. That's all right. I'm going to look for a key lot. We're going to make lemonade. Key lime. <laughs> Key lime. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. I'm already at eight minutes, and I was only going to make a four-minute video. But Look how that uh, parsley's flourishing. Yep, the parsley's doing really good over there. <sighs> See the flag standing straight out? It's blowing hard. Blowing out of the north. Blowing out of the north. Blueberries. I, I, we even got blueberries I on did them. Look at the varieties. There's three of them that are the same, and one is different. It did say to have different ones. Little, so I'm hoping we didn't plant them too close together. Little blueberry flowers. Focus. Focus. So everything is coming along. I didn't think this one was going to make it, but look how pretty green it is. All right, guys. I'll take it easy again. Bye.